This two-wheeled vehicle is really tough, making it a bit challenging to stand on. Riding it requires getting used to keeping your knees slightly bent, or else the balance gets tricky, and you might end up on the ground. You also need to handle the 3.8 cubic inch engine's power and the control panel in your hand. The vehicle can go up to 23.6 miles per hour and runs on gas with one tank covering about 16 miles. It's quite heavy at 59.5 pounds, about the weight of two modern road bikes. People's opinions vary. Some think it's cooler than those in the movie Tron Legacy, while others point out that the powerful engine means you'll need a license and insurance. The price for this model is around $155. If you replace the wheels with tracks, you get some interesting tracked skateboards. There are quite a few of them available nowadays, and new models keep popping up. For instance, in 2011, an Australian company created a skateboard with large tracks, offering impressive off-road performance and speeds up to 20 miles per hour. Instead of regular wheels, this skateboard moves on tank-like tracks. One review on the website described the skateboard. The company claimed that experts who had previously worked with Airbus and BMW were part of the project, ensuring high quality. They even said they would accept bitcoins as payment for the skateboard after its release, following current financial trends. Unfortunately, the website hasn't been updated for a long time, and it's unclear what happened to the project in the end. In 1993, two Swiss students had an idea. What if they made a skateboard that acts like a snowboard? The result of their work is the Flowboard, a skateboard with 14 wheels. Surprisingly, not only was the design patented, but it also gained many customers. Flowboards are still being sold today. So, what do they offer? Firstly, the 14 wheels make it great for doing tricks because they allow a 45 degree turning ability while staying stable. Secondly, Riders don't need as much effort to ride it because of a revised weight distribution. Thirdly, flowboards are excellent for going downhill. The company's motto is, surf without waves, ride without snow. Today, they have three models, 32 inches for performing tricks, 36 inches, which is the standard version, and 42 inches for fans of downhill riding. Talking about Back to the Future again, but this time it's not about the DeLorean. In 2015, the company Lexus showcased a real-life hoverboard. Of course, they had to do some special engineering. Firstly, in the movie, the hoverboard had anti-gravitators and floated about three inches above the ground. Lexus managed to do something quite similar. Riders were hovering around a skate park and even trying to do tricks. It was like a dream come true. However, Lexus used a trick. They built an unusual skate park in Barcelona specifically for the project. Under the surface, there were metal elements that allowed the hoverboard to work using powerful magnets and superconductors cooled by liquid nitrogen to about minus 323 degrees Fahrenheit. The Lexus creation weighs 25.4 pounds and needs 0.4 gallons of liquid nitrogen to refuel. The hoverboard was challenging to ride, even for professional riders. So unfortunately, such hoverboards won't be mass produced for now. In Japan, a caring father and part-time inventor created a unique vehicle for his two-year-old son called the MTM-06. Instead of traditional wheels, it has 12 twin legs. This peculiar vehicle can carry up to 794 pounds but only moves when carrying a passenger weighing 198 pounds or less. The controls are operated remotely, and the model is powered by electricity, running for approximately 45 minutes on a single charge. It comes with a slot for a memory card to save different settings and a small LCD display with a resolution of 128 pixels squared. This creation offers great fun not only for kids, but also for adults. However, the cost of mass-producing such a vehicle is uncertain. Ever wonder how high you can jump on a regular skateboard? Well, a pro named Danny Way set a record by jumping 3.28 feet. He was 41 and built a special ramp for it. 
If you just want to jump without crazy stunts, you can get a safer skateboard for $190, even if it's used. It's kind of rare. It comes with a special belt for better control, so even a kid can learn cool tricks on it. This option is for people who like picking their own skateboard components. On the seller's website, there's a special tool where you can choose the motor type, dimensions, color, tire size, and other features. If you make smart choices and have enough skills, you can go as fast as 35 miles per hour. The manufacturers promise a completely unique riding experience. With five types of shock absorbing springs and lots of settings, including electronic ones, you can create the perfect skateboard for your style. You can also track and analyze real-time data through a mobile app and PC software. Ordering involves choosing from over 30 options, and the price starts at $863. Here's a project from Spain. The regular version of this skateboard is already available, and the electric one should be out this fall. Each model is made up of 117 parts, many of which are patented, and is put together by hand in Barcelona. Since the city often has a lot of traffic, alternative transportation is important. The regular version weighs 10.6 pounds and can carry up to 200 pounds. It's flexible, has folding wheels, and doesn't take up much space. You can use it for doing tricks or just casual riding. While you can't do some traditional tricks, the makers suggest making up new ones, especially for this skateboard. They also think the design is so cool that it can be a wall decoration, and they've even created a special mount for it. You can choose a softer deck made of polypropylene or a stiffer one made of wood. The price starts at $298.